As a father to a young child, one of my responsibilities is to raise a well-rounded human being and then from there raise a child who understands emotional intelligence, has maturity, performs well, excels, but also ends up being a leader in life. Now this is not an easy task. If you're a parent, you understand that it's a very challenging task to grow a human being and especially a responsible human being that uh, is not going to become a liability on the system, it's not going to become a liability on people, it's not going to become a liability on the economy. And there are so many lessons that I try and teach my daughter and those lessons range from understanding how your own mind works, understanding spirituality, understanding God, understanding how your emotions work, understanding business, sales, money, understanding how the economy works, understanding relationships, understanding uh, the various dynamics of uh, entrepreneurship. And I was reflecting back to the fact that out of everything that I teach my daughter, what would be the most important success lesson that I would want her to learn at this age now and remember for the rest of her life? And I decided that the number one success lesson that I want my daughter to learn can probably be described in the statement that I'm about to make. And the statement is that anything worthwhile in life is difficult. Now what do I mean by that? A lot of the times when I am posting material on social media, I get a lot of people who comment and say, well, it's not that easy or easier said than done. Or uh, this is very difficult to do. And sometimes I try and understand the mindset of the person who would put such comments and it's quite obvious to me that there is an underlying expectation that things should be easy in life. Now, according to my observations, those who expect life to be easy actually end up going through more disappointments and emotional pain than the people who expect life to be difficult right from the outset. So I wanted to make this process really conscious for my daughter, but I also want to make this process quite conscious for people who are listening. Because if you can change your mindset and your ideology to accept the fact that life is supposed to be difficult, it's not supposed to be easy, as I'm about to illustrate through a use of certain examples, we become more realistic in managing our time and managing the challenges that come along. And there is less disappointment, there's less shock and there's less drama because we understand that that's normal for life to be difficult and challenging most of the time. Going to bed is easy or it's definitely easier but waking up early is difficult. Being broke and without money is easy but being financially successful is difficult. Becoming a follower in life and blindly following people and systems and processes is easy. But being a leader in life to lead people, to create processes and create systems is hard. Being unhealthy and overweight can be quite easy or you don't have to do much. You just have to neglect your health, eat whatever you want. But to be fit, to feel vitality, to be muscular is difficult and it requires a lot of work. To be mediocre in life or to be struggling in life, it's easy. You don't have to do much. You just remain where you are and you'll naturally head towards struggle and mediocrity. But to become a high achiever, a high performer, to be highly productive or to be highly successful, that is difficult. To believe in lies or to tell lies is easy. You can see the brainwashing that happens across all cultures and all countries is the common way. But to seek the truth and to speak the truth is hard. To make a mess is easy. You can make a mess in your house, in your room. If you don't do anything, things just naturally get messy. But 
To have organization and cleanliness, that requires work, and that's hard. Self-doubt is easy. You don't have to do much. If you don't do much over a period of time, self-doubt will naturally start to grow. But self-confidence, now that requires work. That requires you to be proactive. That requires you to have a positive mindset. And it's difficult. Remaining ignorant in life is easy. Don't seek out any information. Don't evaluate information. Don't analyze data. Ignorance is easy. But to be well researched and to be intelligent in life requires proactive mental work, analysis, evaluation, creativity and imagination and therefore it's difficult. Spending money is easy, doesn't require any kind of discipline. But saving and investing money requires for us to conquer our natural instincts and therefore it's difficult. Entertainment is easy. It does not require for us to force ourselves or apply any type of willpower and determination. Entertainments all around us in the form of television, media, consumerism, and none of that is difficult and doesn't require any level of discipline. But when it comes to learning and developing, that is more sacrificial and therefore is difficult. Reacting to life circumstances and situations and complaining and blaming and being a victim is easy. Responding to life situations, conquering them and overcoming them, now that's hard. Borrowing money from an individual, from a company, from an institution is easy. But to pay it back not just takes a lot longer, but it's also a lot harder. The interesting thing about life being hard is that it's not just in the human world where this plays out. It actually even plays out in the natural world. If you have a garden, do nothing, that's easy and see what happens. What will happen is that the weeds will grow naturally. Roses and fruit trees are not going to grow naturally. If you want to grow roses and fruit trees, you actually have to go and plant the seed, nurture the seed, make sure you give it enough water, make sure that it gets enough sunshine and it requires a bit of monitoring and work. If you don't do any of that, or you just plant the rose, or you plant the fruit tree, and you leave it there, and you don't look after it, the weeds will still grow naturally, and they will probably kill the rose, or they'll kill the fruit tree. Another example of the fact that nature has designed things to be difficult, is if you really notice, some of the most beautiful destinations in the world come after the most treacherous parts. If you want to see the view from a mountain top or you want to visit a beautiful waterfall typically you have to go through bendy and windy roads to get there at the same time a straight road leads to where the main traffic is that again shows us that even nature has designed things to be difficult for those who want to achieve more and experience a higher quality of life and want some greatness in life the fact is, nothing great and nothing worthwhile in life comes easily. This is a lesson that should be taught to all students in the world. Instead of expecting life to be easy, instead, make a plan so that you can be more capable. If you do that, your life is not going to be full of disappointments. I very firmly believe that people who end up experiencing a high level of anxiety or depression or even suicidal thoughts because of a traumatic event a lot of the times it happens because they maybe did not expect things to happen and that shock causes that deep trauma that they can't overcome I wonder how many of those people if they had been conditioned right from the beginning to understand that life isn't easy and to expect that challenges and adversities and setbacks are quite normal, I wonder if they would have primed their mind and conditioned their mindsets differently. I'd love to know what you think about the assessment that I have just made. Do you agree with the fact that we should expect life to be difficult? Or do you think that we should expect life to be easy? The advice that I share with my daughter is the advice that I heard many, many years ago. Don't wish it were easier wish you were better.